Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from any part of the world you might be watching us from. This is your boy, your YouTube photographer, Dulex Image. You are welcome to another tutorial session from where I will be showing you how to create this black angel. Yeah, that has a crown and how to add the crown to it as well. Before we go ahead, to do that if you are here to subscribe to this channel please kindly do so subscribe hit the notification button like and share with your friends and your families or anyone you know they might need it recommend the video to them to watch in order to develop themselves okay so and if you have been and if you are a returning viewer kudos to you guys i love you thanks for the love you've shown uh over the past few months I really appreciate you guys thanks for watching again okay okay without further ado let me go into the business of the day so first thing you will do is to duplicate your layer you can see the layer has been duplicated here okay so the next thing is to come to your quick selection tool you find the select subject here if you are using the latest um, the some of the recent photoshop cc so that's cc from starting from 20 i think 18 upward so you find the select subject here but if you can't find it just come and do that through your other pen tools that you have here you can do it manually okay so i'll click on my select subject and wait for it to load up please today i'll be tr i'll try as much as possible to fast track many of these processes that we have gotten used to before okay so you can see the ai has already selected a larger part of the uh image for us so we don't need to waste our time anymore so let's just go it remains this side so i'll come back to my um polygonal lasso too okay so it, what we need to select by ourselves now is just these areas these areas and this area so ensure you're on the subtraction and you can zoom in in order to see it clearly so you can see the way i'm doing it so many of you are used to this but for the purpose of uh, those that are just watching us for the first time let me assist you by creating this again okay so this is the uh, part that is time i consume uh, more time most of the time okay okay so you can see that area is selected now let me zoom in here to see what i'm doing properly okay as you can see as you can see yeah this is the most time consuming part of this video okay okay so let me just come here and do the same thing be the same thing here okay so you, be, you try to be careful okay so i think cut that please very well already so just have to okay so we are good to go with this okay so as you can see okay so we have just have to look at areas that are not okay so the reason why i use a white cloth here is because the issue of starting to create food shadows now that i cannot create it if you watch my other videos i've uh, lectured on how to create food shadow but to make my work faster i just created that white foot um, clothes so that at the end of the day i won't need to cut out the white because i'll just crop it from here like this this way together with the white so i go back to my quick selection tool and expand this so you can you can see so it makes the work a whole faster there it makes it faster 
okay and you may be wondering that we still have spaces in between this the ears here okay so instead of me cutting out that place just like we did this area just like we did this area instead of me start doing all that area as well it will be time consuming so i'll just leave it like that and i'll show you how to get rid of that very very soon okay just keep watching so as we have done this now the next thing we are going to be doing doing is to come to our layer mask mask it turn off this first layer and you see that already we have removed our model from the background okay so you double click on this mask here double click on it and come to your select a mask okay you almost might just take you straight to this interface but because i'm using 2019 i think the latest uh, versions the very very recent versions will take you bring it to this interface so ensure you're on this uh, refined edge brush tool and you're on the plus sign so zoom in very well to see areas that have not been well okay i think i'm seeing okay i can easily just use this refining tool to remove this as well okay but i ought to have done that while cropping i mean this area that see as an element of our background there but i think i, I can do that here as well okay so what i just need to do reduce your brush size you can see using the brackets uh, key on the keyboard so just come here and um, clean it you see okay so you can see can see it's cleaning that okay let me reduce it a bit and let me increase it so as you can see it's it's removing the background from that area already okay okay like so okay but to make my work faster and easier i ought to have done it while cropping it okay so that has been removed just to make sure you don't really get into the hair okay don't worry it won't remove the hair but here now okay let me now reduce my the size of my brush very well and just drag this down in okay stop it that way wait for that to take effect let's wait for it to load so you do that like that and you continue let's wait for it to load okay so as you can see it has removed the background in between that ear there so let's do this as well so i will fast forward this uh, the second one and we meet later by the time i'm done with everything you are seeing here so that is the process it will take you so like that so i'll meet you by the time i'm done in order to maximize our time see you later So as you can see, we are almost done. Everything is done. If you look at it, we have been able to remove the background in between that area. Okay, let me just, there is an unwanted background here as well. Okay, I don't want. Okay, so we are done okay so so we are good to go the next thing is just for us to come to this right side of the panel of the of this interface and come to output remain on layer mask and click on ok so it should return you back to your photoshop panel and turn this on again okay so the next thing is come to your the first layer here the first layer here and duplicate again using Ctrl or Command J, depending on what type of system you are using. Okay, so on this new layer you just created, hold down your Ctrl button, and the mask that is on top of it here, 
left click on it it will highlight everything again it will select everything again and come to your select come to the modify expand and you are going to be expanding expanding by whatever figure you like but i prefer it click on ok and you press your delete button on your keyboard notes as you do as you do that this new created background copy we would have been deleted so you can see let me it's ctrl z it's on ctrl z you will realize that it will come back okay can you see it now so by the time you eat the delete it will delete that so that means we have separated our background from our model don't forget what we did earlier was to separate our model from the background now we have separated our background from our model well, how do we know that let me turn off this first layer and let me turn on turn off the bottom very first layer as well so you can see our background has been separated from our model in order to deselect this just it's on ctrl d it's okay it's your it we deselect that so let me turn on the first layer and leave this on turned on leave this don't turn this on so what we are going to be doing now is if you can notice if you notice you realize that the background looks rough yeah some pride uh, parts are bright while some are dark and the whole thing looks rough so what we are going to be doing in order to make that look smooth and clean is to come to the filter come to the filter and um, come to your blur and um, Gaussian blur so you increase this let me increase this okay so let me see let, me, let that take effect okay that has not taken if that has taken effect now okay I think I'm okay with this don't mind that it looks as if your image is looking blurry already no it's because this layer is turned off so click on ok and um, the next thing is turn on the layer you can see your image now looks sharper okay but we still have an element of black around here don't bother about that this is how we are going to be removing that on this new background layer that we have here just create a new layer okay so the next thing is come to your gradients map ensure you are on the black and white layer here and uh, ensure you are on this very first one okay so as you do that come to your color picker here so you now select from the brighter parts that you prefer to use so you pick the brighter parts here you can see it has changed it has picked the color here selected the color here for us and the color is in here now click on ok so from outside the image you just drag this to the on the image to that side that you want brightened and it will remove can you see that can you see it's removing it already so let me reduce it okay so do this to the upper part of it and it will start removing it okay can you see that can you see that so let's do this around this area as well okay so let me do and let me do this around here it's some past to look okay so i think i'm good to go i love it this way okay it's well uh uniformed the background looks uniform now okay and we still maintain our foot shadow okay what is next for us now is to just import our overlays our png files everything that we used okay so what i'll be doing next year now is to come to bring in my overlays okay so i made use of this overlay here yeah i made use of this overlay let me just so let me import it that way okay so let me drag that left click on it and drag it to where you have your image already okay so just spread this expand it across it like this okay okay and i think we are good to go okay so the next thing we are going to be doing let's have a look at our okay so as you can see this is what we have here 
so let's have let's return to what we are doing so we are going to bring in this uh, palm fronds and these all these things you are seeing here the rose petals the flowers here let me go back to let me go and bring in my files now okay so let me go to my downloads i just downloaded this new set of files and um let me i made use of this okay so let me open it let me go bring everything in once the crown as well the crown okay so for the purpose of our time i'll just do this offline okay so as you can see i've already imported my files this is the crown this is this this is that okay it remains the it remains my feather okay so let me just i think i have my feather somewhere around here yeah yeah this is it so it remains my feather okay so going into what we were doing before so what i just need to do now is to bring in let me bring in the feather first okay so let me bring it further first so you can see this is laying on top of our model which is not supposed to be but it's not an issue so i just place it under the model it's because it's on top of the model okay you can see the way i replace the layer there okay so i think this is okay let me just increase it a bit okay so and um, place it up a bit we are creating a black angel okay and the next thing i'm going to be doing especially with this wing is i want the wing to go well with the clothes to match the color the outfits so the next thing i'll be doing is okay let me come to my adjustment layer you and saturation colorize and come back to the adjustment layer again create right click on it and create clipping mask okay so let me now see how i can make the color to match together with this okay so i think we are getting there we are getting there i think it's okay like this now the color is a kind of blended so let me go to the lightness to see how i can blend it the, you just play around that to give you a kind of uniform color okay so that is done i think i'm okay with that so there's a kind of harmony between the clothes and the wing now okay so let me go see other okay let me bring in this as well as you can see drop this so you just have to reduce the size hold on this latest on this cc i'm holding down my alt to reduce it uniformly but if you look at it you will see that it's behind our model here and we have we want to make it remain on top so what we will do is return it on uh, this on top so I need to bring it, you can see it has brought it up. Okay, so now reduce it again to match. Okay, you can zoom in to see clearly if you can't see it very well. So let me zoom in. Okay, so let me reduce this a bit. We are getting there. So you can make use of the arrow on the keyboard to drag it the left and right arrow up and down arrow to drag this okay but if you look at the edge it still shows the ear here as if uh, it shows we manipulated it so let me it doesn't look realistic yet so let me just increase it a little bit and now drag this okay so does this look good now because we don't have to see the edge of that crown 
okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think it looks good now. But if you look into what we have here, it's kind of silver. The color is kind of silver as regards what we have here. So we are going to be using our U and saturation one more time to blend this color. Come to your adjustment layer, U and saturation, colorize, and um, right click on the adjustment layer, U and saturation again, create clipping mask. Okay, so that will enable us to get that color now. Okay, because we want to create a silver. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we are we are getting there. Okay, so it depends on your choice. <clears throat> it's not compulsory that you do the same thing I'm doing. You can just create your own. It's not compulsory that you do. You create the same thing. We are all free to create what we want to create. Don't mind that some people will tell you something looks bad, something looks... no. It depends on what you have in mind, the concept you want to create. Yeah, you realize that. When you, when I posted this picture on Facebook, I've seen a lot of comments and um, just look at the comments. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Yeah, though you, you take those constructive criticism and um, some used to go overboard and just look at it that you are the one that knows what you want to create. As much as some people will condemn it, some people will like it. So you can't satisfy everybody. That is just the beauty of our work. But you are free, just make sure you get everything yeah they say and work towards what you be pleased with your work that's the summary of it be pleased with your work okay so um i think i'm okay with that so let me look at this okay let me bring in this and um okay so now this i turned it around like this okay okay so i dragged it around somewhere around there it's not straight if you look at it it's not straight so let me just okay i think it's okay like this so just drag it out a little bit okay okay so i did something to this flower this palm font flower around here so what i did was to come to my opacity let me click on it. I came to my opacity and I reduced it. You understand? Like so. I reduced it like this. Okay, just to fade the color a bit. So, the next thing we are going to be doing here is to now imp uh, see other things we have not added, like the flower vase. And uh, let me see. Okay, like this flower vase here. Okay, I dropped it here, somewhere around here. Okay, you can see this is going in. So you just have to bring it up on top of our model. Okay, so. Okay. Where do we have a model layer? Okay, just have to bring it up on top. So you will see that it's now perfectly placed around there now. So, drag this up a bit. Yeah. The flower has a kind of shadow already. If you look at it very well, the way the curved bends the edge at the bottom part of the flower vase. So, if you look at that, there's one thing I've not brought in. That's my rose system. So, if you look at it, it's kind of reddish. Okay. So yeah, we'll be doing that together along, okay? Okay, so Okay, so it's still under the same thing process. We drag it down, okay? We drag it on top of the model layer so it will come up this way. Okay, so just expand it, expand it to your taste, but ensure it does not stay on top of the leg because it will not look realistic again. 
to bring this down a little bit you can still drag this up okay okay so this now can be expand expanded the more okay so try to ensure that you are avoiding the leg it doesn't stay on top of the leg of the model let me see clearly okay so it's not staying on top of the and the beauty of these rose petals is that it has its own shadow yeah it has its own shadow if you look at it yeah it has its own shadow look at the shadows look at the shadows yeah look at the shadows okay so the next thing we are going to be doing is we want to match all these this first layer here the all these flower these flowers the roof petals we want to match them together so that we can blend their colors together okay so this this it remains our flower this palm fonts that we have here so i've selected the theory of them like that holding down control button and selecting on the three layers use control e to match them together okay come to the adjustment layer you and saturation colorize so at first the colorize will change everything including your model and everything but in order to remove it on top of the model just come to the you and saturation right click on it create a clipping mask and it will be the that will be free from it so now we can then begin to see how to blend just this flower versus the rose petals and all that alone so let me see okay okay i think i'm okay with that let me increase the the brown parts of it you can see so and let me this is becoming very similar to what we have here yeah you can see it okay so let me go back okay so i think i'm good to go i love it this way so the next thing we, we are almost done so but before we do the remaining part of it if you are here to subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying it please kindly subscribe to this channel share like hit the notification button so that you can help this channel to grow okay so back to what we were doing earlier let me just what i would love to do is to create a vintage that we harmonize the model together with all the backgrounds and everything we have imported so come to this circle here hold that hold down come to your um clip to cool mark mark it to click on it hold down your shift button and um draw the circle place it at the center okay and control shift i okay to inverse come to your adjustment layer and click on solid color i love doing this a lot to harmonize them together okay and, and that is what some people have seen on my facebook page and said it looks blurry no it's just to harmonize everything i've imported together to make it look real okay click on okay and um do double click on this mask here and um, reduce the feather increase the feather to your taste so you can see now so this is what turns it around that makes it look blurry like you said on like someone said on facebook okay it's just a kind of harmony if you are not okay with the way it is now come to the opacity here and reduce this further to make it brighter okay to still make it look brighter okay so yeah i think i'm okay with this and the next thing is to color grade okay so we are almost done so i've come to my adjustments layer pick on my color lookup and i will use any color grading tool you you feel you like you can just use anything you prefer so let me use my uh, berry cube first yeah let me make use of my berry cube first and come to it again and make use of your color lookup and let me use my mela chocolate
color the cup okay Mela chocolates color the cup okay so you can see it's now similar to what we have here okay so it's you know you can just use any color the cup you prefer okay so we have come to the end of this tutorial please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do so like share and in the description box below you can drop any comments any observation anything you you want to know just drop it there uh, in the comment section and in the, in the description box you find my whatsapp number my telegram telegram channel where i drop my files that i use in this video and drop files when people make on requests usually okay so you can just if you're not okay with this just you know just reduce the opacity you can just reduce the opacity and if you come here as well you can reduce the opacity you understand and if you think you still want to duplicate this color lookup just click click on ctrl j okay so but well, i think i prefer it the way it was before it depends on your choice so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate you guys so stay safe till when next we'll be meeting and enjoy your day bye